So if you're suffering with this code right here, this could be your main cause. You're gonna go under your uh, truck on your driver's side where your depth tank is in the back. You're gonna look for this connector right here. You, this truck, on the other hand, was, it was rubbing right there. So uh, open circuit for this truck. The solution was um, we're gonna have to check it out. You see that right there? So recut. Hopefully I can try to save this connector. If not, we're gonna have to get a pigtail or, or cut. A closer look at the cable itself. Um, you can see right there, I completely cut the cable. The only thing holding it together is just the plastic on it. So, like I said, we need to cut it and re-splice. Hopefully I have enough room here. There's not much room left. So I gotta work with uh, what I have. I have some connectors, so I just stock I have some pigtails inside, um, so I might be lucky, but hopefully the rest of you guys aren't too slow. It's like, if it is, like I said, you might have to replace the whole connector. Um, but this is going to solve your issue. You can see right there. So now we're going to go ahead and boot up diagnostically. Um, like I said, we're going to scan the truck again and uh, see if that code went inactive. Um, so, let's wait for this to load up. So, our issue's been fixed. Um, I didn't even have to clear it. It says confirmed, previously active. So it was active before. It's just gonna stay stored in the, in the MCM, but for the eight, after treatment uh, computer. Um, but yeah, this is it's off. So before then, you would be able to clear this, and it would just come right back on. Now it stays off. So, check engine is gone. Yeah, that's it, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button and uh, stay tuned for more little videos that I'll be making here.